Hello friends, my name is Pinaki and welcome to my channel Fintech Logics. So uh, let's uh, start a new series of uh, uh, video today, uh, specifically starting with uh, debt mutual fund. So this is in the area of personal finance. How do we manage our finances better by selecting better instruments? So uh, as we know, there are a lot of uh, instruments that we come across. Uh, there are a lot of options in the market to invest like your PF, BPF, your different types of mutual funds, equities, debt, mutual fund, etc. are also there. Now specifically we would start today with debt, uh, debt uh, mutual fund of category overnight funds. So let's begin. If you have not seen my earlier videos on personal finance, I will provide a link here. Please have a look. Now, um, as we have made our skeleton, we'll also discuss in the same line of age group. So this debt mutual fund overnight funds is applicable for all age groups with a specific goal of ultra short term investment. So the investment horizon should be looked at one or two weeks, then only somebody should opt for this kind of mutual fund. The goal is also easy liquidation that we might need our fund at any point of time and at that point of time because the exit load is low we won't have uh, to face any issue for um, uh, taking it out. Now in instrument let's be very cautious in selecting only direct fund if, uh, uh, if you do not uh, have idea about the difference of direct and regular fund you just understand it uh, in a simple fashion that uh, your regular mutual funds would have higher fund management charges than direct so if uh, you are going for mutual fund from uh, platforms like your zerodha or paytm money you would always invest in direct mutual fund so definitely select direct mutual fund over regular mutual fund now why we are selecting this because our instrument should not be much volatile and we want to uh, get the cash out in one two weeks so it, we cannot afford that the fund value goes down always we should go for mid or high value of uh, asset under management so if you do a comparative structure you would get uh, the mid and high value AM. we should definitely look for that in a comparative structure of all uh, uh, overnight funds we should go for a probably lowest possible expense ratio uh, so that our investment value would be more and the fund management charges would be less and why we are going for this is basically if you see that okay there is no credit risk now uh, when we move further i would show you how uh, the uh, the graph can tell us about the minimal risk now the last one is uh, the strategy part so in strategy part uh, we should not withdraw the funds at a time so there should be systemic monthly in so every month on a fixed date we can invest and in the same pattern well uh, we want to withdraw money we should not be withdrawing at a go we should be withdrawing in uh, chunks now let's look at how to analyze the overnight funds in any platform so here i'm giving example uh, of the screenshots from Zerodha uh, but in the parameters are basically same in every platform so if you know this uh, you would be able to easily do that in other platforms so uh, in your debt category so first you would select mutual fund and then you select the debt instrument under debt you select it as overnight fund once you select that overnight fund then you would get different types of dividend type so there is growth and there is IDCW different types. So you should always go for a growth because there your whatever dividends are paid in time that is gets reinvested. So that will give you maximum return. Now in expense ratio, as we said that we will select the minimum amount. So we'll keep our expense ratio minimum. So 0 to 0 0.5 is the max expense ratio that we should be choosing our funds from. And then asset under management as we talked about let's select the maximum one in the entire lot so let's say 20,000 or 40,000 to one uh, to one crore um, one lakh crore so in that range we should be selecting our EVM so the principle is that higher the um, asset uh, if you 
are to select two assets if you see that okay once aum is higher you should go for that now let's look at one more important parameter which is cagr which is your uh, cumulative annual uh, growth rate so uh, you can look for two years and three years figure with an interest rate or CAGR more than 5%. So that is why I have selected. Normally you would get overnight funds between 5 to 10, 10%. So exclude the ones which are 0 to 5% and go for slightly higher ones because you would need higher return. Now, in any mutual fund, if you click at any overnight fund, just pay attention to the uh, graph pattern. So there should not be much fluctuations here. So normally you would see this for every overnight mutual fund, but uh, have a concierge look that, okay, it should have almost a straight line figure so that you would know that, okay, my asset or my capital would not go down at any point of time. Now, um, in what in, uh, assets normally uh, they invest? So they invest normally in T-bills or treasury bills and CDs. So this is, these are normally backed by uh, government and you do not see much credit risk so this is the credit risk that i was talking about that okay um, normally uh, if you see government uh, treasury bills are more uh, in that case you are not exposed to credit risk and uh, and you can uh, have a safe capital at least for your um, your savings period so this is the basis how you would select i'm not uh, going to recommend any particular overnight mutual fund but you just pay attention to the horizon if you have a one to two weeks of horizon and you want to invest um, in any overnight fund then you can go for this plan in investing so this is this was a snapshot of my approach to give you a view about how to select an overnight fund next uh, video we would talk about a slightly more uh, duration investment which would be your liquid funds and then we will go to equity funds so um, i hope this video uh, would have made clear how to select a mutual fund in overnight category thanks a lot for watching my video uh, viewers